All right, as helpful as two-way tables are, they have their limitations because you can only have two permutations of things. So throwing two dice, tossing two coins, or two separate events. But what if we've got more than two events? Then we have to look at a different tool. This one we're going to use is called a tree diagram. Okay, so a tree diagram really is fairly interesting. Diagram. So your tree diagrams are going to be quite an interesting sort of thing. So if we have three options of making either coffee or tea, all right, you can have uh, milk or no milk. Okay, and you can have sugar or no sugar. Okay. So we're going to look at the probability of being able to look at this. All right. So it's equally likely that you can choose coffee or tea, it's equally likely that a person will choose milk or no milk, and equally likely that someone will buy or take sugar or no sugar. So, we start off with our initial event. Okay. So, our first thing here is what are we going to choose? So we can either choose to drink coffee, or we can choose to drink tea. Okay. So, those are equally likely. So we're going to then look at this probability of this. You have two options. So each one has a probability of a half. Okay. Each one has a probability of a half. Then, if I choose to drink coffee, if I choose to drink coffee, then I have two options here. I can either have it with milk or no milk. So, I will give myself the options of milk or no milk, right? And each of those also, in the case of the coffee, I have a 50-50 chance that someone's going to do that. Okay, now with the tea, it's a similar situation. We can choose milk at a half or no milk. Also, add a half. Fantastic. So that then gives me two more branches. Okay. And finally, I can choose to have sugar or no sugar. So my final answer is sugar or no sugar. Sugar. Or no sugar. Okay. And here we will have sugar or no sugar as well. And finally, sugar or no sugar. Okay. And once again, because these are all equally likely, it's going to be a half for each of them. All right. Okay, now it's always good, a good idea to do a set of outcomes for this sort of thing so that it makes it easier for us to the, see these things. So I'm going to summarize this as coffee, milk, sugar. So coffee, milk, sugar. Then coffee, milk, no sugar. All right? And we repeat the process. So. All right, so what we see here is that we have eight outcomes in total. All of them are equally likely. We've got coffee, milk, sugar, coffee, milk, no sugar, all the way down to 
tea, no milk, no sugar. All right. And so those eight outcomes, if I was to choose any of these outcomes, I would have a one in eight chance. And then we can work our way back on our little diagram to work out our various things. Okay.